the perfect mouse why am i looking for a perfect or a better mouse right it's one of the questions that every gamer from mobas to fps players really really dig into once they start getting serious about playing a game in my spare time i still am a gamer i still play a lot of fps games mainly valorant and apex and I still try and find the time to look up any new releases of gear or hardware that I might want to get as an advantage or to improve myself when I'm trying to play a video game. Mice are very subjective, right? Mice, you, you, can, you can never find a perfect mouse. There can only be a perfect mouse for you. To do that, in a perfect world, you would have to try every single mouse that exists. Try them out for at least a week or two and see which one would fit your hand, your play style appropriately. In our world, that really isn't the case because you can never try every single mouse because it gets really expensive. Like one of the cheapest mice out there that's, I would say, reputable, right, is the Viper Mini. I have a review of that if you guys want to check that out. And it starts at, I think, 1,500 pesos or 1,600 pesos. I haven't checked the current prices, but that's what I remember. So imagine trying to spend at least 100, 1,600 pesos on a mouse and then trying every single mouse that exists out there. The average, I believe, of mice that is within my price range is 5,000. That's Model O area or Pulsar X2 area, 5,000, 6,000 pesos. That's the range that I am willing to spend money on a mouse, which is admittedly kind of expensive. Think about it. You have to spend that much money to try a mouse and if you don't like it, Either you sell it or you just keep it forever. Most people just sell it, honestly. Although there's a lot of subjectivity when it comes to gaming mice, mainly how you grip your mice. There's different grip styles. There's claw, there's palm, there's hybrid, fingertip. And everybody has their own way of holding a mouse. There is also objectivity when it comes to deciding what mice to get. Some mice are just objectively better than other mice. For example, your A4 Tech mouse is objectively worse than a Razer Death Adder V3, which has uh, that insane polling rate. Again, going back to that uh, A4 Tech, which I feel like is a jab at really cheap mice, but some people swear by A4 Tech, so I, I can't really knock them on that. But objectively, the switches on A4 Tech wouldn't last as long as something from Glorious or from Logitech. Right, which have their mice rated at a minimum of 20 million clicks, which goes all the way up to like 80,000 clicks. From the sensor, to the processing, to the switches, to the material that it's made, there's so many things that a mouse can be objectively better at. That being said, why am I looking for a better mouse? Or why am I looking for the perfect mouse? Because a better mouse means better performance when you're playing a video game, and better performance when you're playing a video game means a happier me. So basically, it comes down to what makes me happy. What am I looking in mouse? To do that, we have to go back and look at the mice that I already am using. So currently, I'm, I'm using the Glorious Model O. This is my main mouse that I use every single day when I'm gaming, when I'm playing Valorant or when I'm playing Apex or Overwatch or whatever video game that I play that doesn't use a controller and I use mouse and keyboard, I use the Model O. And when I don't want to use the Model O, I use the, the Logitech G304 which is admittedly one of the best gaming mice that you can get for the price. If I were to recommend one wireless gaming mouse for everybody to get as their first mouse, I would say this one. It's reliable, it's not as expensive as you think it is, and there are so many mods that have come out from the Logitech G304 that I would say that if they made a version 2 of this or an even lighter version of this, that would blow away a bunch of competition. The only drawback I have with this mouse is that it's heavy. It is a good starting mouse, but it isn't a good end game mouse. Well, for me anyway, because again, subjectively, I don't like a heavy mouse. That's why I have the Model O. The reason why I like the Model O is not because of the shape, but because of the weight. I like the shape of the G304 more and I like the weight of the Model O. Now it depends on me which one I, I weigh more, right? Which one do I favor more? For me, I favor the weight more than the shape because I feel like I can adapt to a shape. That can be different for somebody else. Somebody else might prefer a shape more than the weight. Since these are the mice that I have right now, what are the mice that I feel like I want to try someday? I used to have a Viper Mini. I couldn't use it because it was wired. It's just something mentally. I know that I couldn't feel it when I'm playing, but I, I mentally know that the wire is there and I, I really couldn't play with it because I feel like if I flick too hard, I'd flick something on the desk and it would be the end of the world. If I were to have a dream mouse that I really want to try, it would be the Viper Mini Signature Edition. And I feel like I would never ever be able to try it because it is damn near impossible to get and very expensive as well. 
at I think 16,000 pesos. That is one of the one of the most expensive razor mice that you can get, but the specs on that thing is insane. The shape is already perfect for me. I really love the Viper Mini and having a, a wireless version of that has been a dream of mine for forever. They went and leveled up from that with a magnesium alloy as uh, the material, which is metal with that insanely high polling rate that Razer has. It's really an insane mouse that they created. If they were to make a Viper Mini wireless non-signature edition, that would be a really, really good mouse. I feel like that would be a mouse that I would get almost instantly if I had the funds to or if I had the means to get one. I would definitely try and get myself a Razer Viper Mini Wireless. Another mouse that I would feel like I would really want to try is the Extrafy MZ1 Wireless. I did try the MZ1 wired version, which had a fairly higher bump. But the MZ1 wireless has a replaceable back with a lower hump as one of the backs, which I feel like would make it perfect for my grip as a shape and also the weight. I feel like if a Viper Mini Wireless Edition never releases, I feel like the Extrafy MZ1 wireless is going to be the next mouse that I try or get for myself because I feel like the shape was already pretty good when I tried the wired version. I just need the hump at the back to be lower. The wireless version really would be a mouse for me because I can never go back to a wired mouse. So for me, what would be the perfect mouse for me, right? It already exists. It's just that I can't get it. The perfect mouse for me, I feel like right now would be the Viper Mini Signature Edition. It has the perfect weight, the ultimate sensor, the polling rate that's insane, and the shape that I really like. The Viper Mini Signature Edition would be the perfect mouse for me, but I feel like I would never ever be able to try it because it's just out of reach. It's 15,000 pesos. If they make a 5,000 peso version of that mouse with a few of the features stripped out, I feel like that would be, that would be the mouse that I get. That's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to do the things and click over here for the past uh, for the previous video and click over here if you want to do the thing. So yeah, see you guys next time. Palam.